Hi everyone, it's Akira, with you guessed it, another Warrior Cats challenge. We just entered the month of July, so this time the theme is Warrior Cats in the Summer. Let's start with the original boy, Firestar, chilling in a tube, or chilling with a popsicle. Sunglasses are going to be a recurring theme with these submissions. Oh no, Blue Star is drowning, I think, in a kiddie pool. Well, I mean, in this case, I guess it would be a kitty pool. Haha. <laughs> oh, a Luca reference with Rusty and Graypaw. That was a cute movie. Definitely recommend to all you Disney Plus subscribers out there. But Graypaw can't swim. No, he really can't swim. Don't jump in, Graypaw. He jumped in. Good thing there is Lifeguard Silverstream to help. Yes, Silverstream. A fine specimen she is, quite stunning in the sunlight, or in the pool. And thanks to the power of floaties, she will no longer need to save Graystripe. And ah ha ha, chubby Graystripe on a tube with silver stream is so cute. Now enough of Graystripe's girlfriend. What about Firestar's girlfriend Sandstorm? Sand is in her name, she is perfect for the beach. Whether that involves making sandcastles, or being buried in the sand. It helps her name make sense, and someone should probably go save her. Bright heart with butterflies? Ah, And her hat is so cute! To put it in Cloudtail's words, it sure is bright out here. Good thing he has sunglasses. And one more Cloudtail with floaties. This just fits too well. Alright, wholesomeness time is over. We got Snow Kit with a seagull. Seagulls are absolutely evil and exist only to cause suffering among every being they interact with. So this fits perfectly. Thornclaw on lifeguard patrol. Nice. Leopard star in the sun. And Yellowfang with sunflowers. Awesome. Maple Shade's kits survive because they were provided with floaties. That would be nice for sure. But let's not forget that in her novella, Maple Shade forgot there was a literal bridge crossing in the River Clan territory. If floaties were an option, she would have forgot those too. And I love how her swimsuit just says, I love me on it, because that sums her up perfectly. It's Squirrel Flight time. Squirrel Flight was definitely the character I saw the most of in this challenge. It wasn't even close. She just rocks the summer in every way she can. And here she is on a squirrel floaty. Nice. And here she is spending time with her sister. That's just adorable. And here she is with Ashfur. Some volleyball action. Ouch. Daisy in Squirrel Flight on a picnic. And speaking of Daisy, here she is with a cute summer dress. Crowfeather with a feather tail floaty? Uh, that's not a floaty. That's the real feather tail. Hawk Frost in the hot weather. Truly chill but he's much better for the beach as a mermaid. And yes, this is a reference to the Moon Kitty I Spoil video. And he's beautiful. And another Hawk Frost mermaid. And Sensitive was inspired by Kitty to make a mermaid Mistyfoot. And on a somewhat related note, Siren Ashfur. But unlike a siren, Ashfur's song will drive you away. Here's a group of summer cats. I like Angry Breeze Pelt, who does not like water, because he prefers being a gamer. Ooh, cute holly leaf, rocking that beach ball and pride bandana. Millie giving Briarlight some sun protection, even though she already has fur. Soul enjoying the sun during an eclipse? Hmm, how about Soul enjoying the sun with Black Star during an eclipse? Wow, those designs are elaborate. They do look fabulous though. Jayfeather on the beach? That's pretty cool. And this is how Don Pelt thought Jayfeather acted during Flametail's death. He's blind, Don Pelt. Cut him some slack. Jayfeather with a popsicle is so cute. And yes, Hollyleaf, eating ice cream sandwiches is against the warrior code. At least I think it would be. Now Jayfeather's line of summery treats. Jay slushy, very yummy. Jay ice cream, very nice cream. And there's an additional deal that if you buy three, you get Ashfur's sunscreen for free. I would definitely advise against taking that deal. Jay for their food truck, 
Now that's cool. Nothing beats the classic Jay Burger. Jay Feather and Alderheart as lifeguards. Alderheart says, Walk, please. And Jay Feather says, Walk! All of the three with their dates. That's cute. That's cute. Dove Wing has arrived. Let's see how she spends her time. She floats along with her son, Shadow Sight. She stops to chat with Bumblestripe for one second, and he completely embarrasses himself before that second is up. And she plays a game of volleyball with Ivy Pool, which ends abruptly when Ivy Pool decides to use a Dark Forest move against her. Ooh, new Starless Clan protagonists. Flame Pop burning from the heat, Sunbeam relaxing in the sunbeams, and Frostpaw melting. Oh dear. Flametail with a snorkel? Does that mean he survived the previous incident? I mean, snorkels don't exactly let you breathe underwater, so I'm just confused. I don't know what's going on here, but Brindleface has a Live Laugh Love poster, and that is enough for me. That is glorious. j Paw and Cinderpaw during their swimming lessons. Those will always be immensely precious scenes. And while they were sharing endearment, Lionpaw just reflects on how his powers are too cool for him to be able to enjoy honey, or in this case, the summer. Some own one of the stars cats. Now this is a really cool scene. I love Briarlight's sandcastle. Here's Firestar packing his ghost wife Spotted Leaf on his trip to Sky Clan. Only the essentials I see. Respectable. Feathertail Sasha content. I'm always down to see that. Especially with such detailed scenery. Speaking of good ships, we got super detailed Ravenpaw and Barley art. Little Leafkit grabbing onto her mom for protection from the water is adorable. And poor little older kid is also scared of the water. But then when he's older, here he is protecting Twigkit from the sun. My my, how the turns have tabled. River Ripple in the sea. Too bad the books forgot about this guy. Tigerstar with the cursed red tail popsicle reminiscent of the iconic Spongebob popsicles. When I was a kid, my local ice cream truck always carried them and they were always my first pick, so those are very nostalgic to me. And finally, we got not one, but two submissions involving Root Spring interacting with crabs. And I especially love the interaction being shown in Martlet Wing's submission. Tree says to catch a crab, you have to think like a crab. The natural evolution of thinking bush. Alright, that concludes all the submissions. Bye everyone!